Welcome to a tutorial video on BitC6. In this video, I'm going to talk about understanding the interface. When we first load the BitC site, we see a number of different tool windows appearing and different things we can interact with. It can be a little bit confusing, so let's walk through what these all mean and how we view them. So starting from left to right, we see an about window, room, paint, colors, and download. Well, these are in fact not all the tools we have. There are other tools we can use. So if we see tools up here, sort of towards the right, if we click on that, it shows us all of the different tools we have access to. The ones that are currently highlighted are the windows it's currently showing for those tools. If we wanted to remove those windows, one way to go about it would be to simply click and those would be removed. And the nearest window to the right would move to the left with all of them shifting over. If we wanted to add a window back, we could click About in this instance, and it would be added to the farthest right-hand side. So we can remove windows by simply clicking on them in the Tools, and it would remove them all for us. If we wanted to add them back, we just click on their name within Tools, and it would add those windows back, putting it on the right-hand side. So when we first use Bitsy, we come to realize that it saves a game locally in the browser. This is similar to how our other online tools approach the same idea. So something you want to keep in mind then is if we're using a certain browser, it's saving it in the local browser. But say we want to create a brand new game. Well, we can do that through clicking on the new game option within the tools. In fact, I did that accidentally just a moment ago. So I click on this and then click OK. And it recreates everything in a new game. But I closed all my windows, so reopening some of the windows, we can see those same windows again. So let's review what we know about Bitsy then. We load Bitsy by looking at the full window here. We see windows for each tools. We can open and close those windows for those tools by clicking on the tools drop down. Notice it's highlighted, showing you it's looking. And we can click on those to, to close or open them. We can also, for each window, move them around by clicking and dragging them across different places. If we want to individually close those windows, we can click the X for each window, and it would close those windows, moving them to the left each time. So we access our tools through using the Tools drop-down. If we want to bring about a certain window, we click on the name of that certain window. We can drag windows and arrange them in the order that we want, or close them either clicking on their name within tools or clicking on the X within individual windows. And we work through these tools using them for different purposes within Bitsy. Thanks for watching.